The second element of our strategy is to create the computing platforms so that anybody who wants to enjoy deep learning and the work that they do can enjoy whether it's in the cloud, in a PC, in a robotics platform. The robotics platform is called Jetson. Jetson is binary compatible with NVIDIA Tesla, which is for your supercomputer in your cloud, which is binary compatible with NVIDIA's Titan X, which is, which is used in your PCs. And it's also binary compatible with the work that we're doing for cars, NVIDIA Drive PX. One single architecture, one singular platform, deep learning everywhere. And here's the last part. The third part of our strategy is to enable the ecosystem, enable the world to enjoy deep learning and the work that they do by creating an end-to-end -end platform for deep learning. From the moment that you start training your networks to develop that neural net, to deploying that neural net inside a car, we're going to solve this problem from end to end. I want to show you that today. We're going to solve this problem from end to end. Deep learning platform for training, it's called the NVIDIA Digits, to a deep learning network, to the in-car AI supercomputer so that you can quickly deploy it into your car. The way, we see, the way we see this loop, ultimately, for cars, is it's going to be difficult, nearly impossible, to guarantee that your car has seen every possible scenario on the day that the car goes off the lot. We see that this new world will be a cloud-connected internet of cars, internet of things, architecture, where your car goes out the lot super smart, ideally nearly superhuman, and yet as it encounters new conditions that it doesn't understand, or if it performs a task that is different than you otherwise would have done, it would report it back to the cloud. We would very quickly train the network and re-release -re -re the new network to the world. All of a sudden, because of the experience of one car, every car on your network became smarter. One of the reasons why we believe in this is that ultimately we believe that the car companies have to own their own network, their own deep neural net. Every car company, every car company, because the deep neural net is, is such an essential part of your driving experience, ultimately this body of work has to be owned by the car companies. So our strategy is to create the platform by which these networks could be created and maintained and improved and refined over time. Okay, so our last strategy. One, strategy number one, to ensure that NVIDIA GPUs accelerate every single possible framework for artificial intelligence development in the world. So irrespective of what framework you believe you like to use, number one, it will be GPU accelerated, it will be CUDA accelerated. Number two, that we would have platforms that you can deploy into, whether it's in the cloud, or the PC, or the car, or robots, whether it's drones or machines. And then third, for the car, for all these platforms, to develop an end-to-end -end development system so that you could train the network, refine the network, deploy the network, and continuously enhance it. Three parts of our strategy. Now, we've used this platform ourselves over the last several months to develop a reference platform. We call it the NVIDIA DriveNet. Now, we imagine that car companies all over the world will develop their own network. And I'll show you some examples of that in just a moment. However, in order to test out this end-to-end -end system, we're testing our own self-driving cars, creating our own neural net. And the part that is really amazing is this. Look at the progress. We've created a network. It's called the NV DriveNet. It has seven inception layers. Basically, it's, it's, excuse me, nine inception layers. It's basically nine deep neural nets nested within itself. A very, very, very deep network. 37 million neurons. And by bombarding it with an enormous amount of data and examples, we're training this network to be able to perceive the things in the, in the world. It takes about 40 billion operations to run it through the network one time. It's able to classify or recognize single objects, multiple objects. 
and it could even classify every single pixel to tell you which pixel this pixel belongs to, which object this pixel belongs to. Now, if you take a look at the, the rate at which we've been, we've been accelerating, this is one of the most important parts of doing deep learning and neural net training. The, the velocity by which you're improving is arguably the single most important thing. And the reason for that is because you're going to be iterating over time. Over just a few months, over just a few months, our internal team of experts have been able to achieve nearly world-class levels. The number one kitty score, this is a, a benchmark and a data set that's used for self-driving cars. The number one score is posted by Andrew Ang's team at Baidu. We are very, very close to the number one score. However, the big difference is this. Ours run in real time. And so this network, because we want to be able to put it into a car, has to have the ability to actually recognize things in real time. And so the NVIDIA DriveNet, in just a few months, look at its progress and imagine where we're going to go.